Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is our week 33 pregnancy update video. The husband is here, the pup is down there. We are ready to share with you guys all things from this week of our first pregnancy. Every single week we share with you guys the pregnancy updates for what we have going on this week. We will be sharing with you guys the size of the baby. Emmanuel's already getting really excited back there. Just share with you guys how big baby B is officially for week 33. So make sure if you are not already subscribed to this channel that you hit subscribe, hit that little bell and also hit the thumbs up button if you are already subscribed i just want to give a shout out to you i appreciate you guys that watch these videos every single week as we are winding down on this pregnancy so let's get this party started and dive right in because the husband is ready we're gonna kick off this video with the size of the baby and share with you guys the food item that the baby is officially the size of for week 33 i mean was over here fanning himself i don't know if you have any guesses can you already see the shadow going on here three two one Size of the baby for week 33 is what? You just celery, my dear. <laughs> just celery. We're not gonna be cooking this either. Like, I don't wanna eat just like cooked celery. I'll eat it with some peanut butter though, but I don't know if I wanna make anything. Can we just like eat a bunch of peanut butter? So I am not the biggest celery fan in general. I feel like the only good thing about celery is that it's a vehicle to eat peanut butter with. We're not making a fancy recipe. I'm pretty sure we're gonna clean it up, use it with peanut butter. Maybe make those little, what are those little snacks called that you make when you were a kid? I think it's bugs on a log or ants on a log. So later in this video, you will see what we do with the celery for the food baby chicken challenge for the week. We will also be sharing with you guys other things that went down here for week 33. This week we got a bunch of more baby items. We want to kind of show you guys what we got. A couple things, some boxes next to Emmanuel. We're going to unbox those. There's one in there that I'm pretty sure that he gets to also use with me. And the second one, I don't really know what's inside. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. I don't know what this stuff is. Box number one. The birth jet. Does comfort techniques for labor. 50 ways to comfort a woman in labor. Oh man. <laughs> Nice! Yeah! So there's all kinds of like ways to support me whenever we go to the laboring process, which I am super pumped about. Cause you guys know we have these like affirmation cards on our kitchen table that I like read every day. It's like, I am inspired. I am positive. And I feel like this is like what these are gonna be. Let me read them. I think they're in different categories too. Oh my gosh, this last one. You can do it. Woo! Yeah, so I'm basically telling you this. You're yeah. in labor. Okay. Breathe. <sighs> Breathe. The head's almost coming out. When she thinks she can't stand anymore, you can do this. Look how far you've come. You're doing this. <laughs> I'll say it. I just grew. I love it. But she's like, oh, hold my hand. I'm like, wait a minute. Lighting. A woman's pupils dilate in labor and she becomes very sensitive to light. Help her stay relaxed and covered by dimming the lights. Doctor, dim the lights. Check that the lights are dim. Read this one. Oh, are you feeling okay? Hold on. You're beautiful. You're glowing. You're so beautiful. They're so great. One so, more. I like this. Okay, one wait. Let me pick one. But yeah, save for me. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, I'm having a hard day. I'm no, getting these labor. Aren't for, I'm getting labor. Help these me. These aren't for. So oh, this, isn't positive. this one is part of the massage. So each one, there's different sections. So there's like mine, there's support, there is like movements that you can do. And this one is a massage. This is the lower back stroke, which gives me like, you're supposed to rub this little tailbone area. In labor, I'm just supposed to be giving the back massage. Yeah. Or it gives you like positions that you can lay in that it will feel good. So this is like side laying. Oh, slow dance. Hey, you can't read them all. Okay. Yeah, I can't read these all. I want these all to right. be a surprise. This is so fun. Literally, Shout out the birth deck. To the birth deck. These are going to be so great. We'll have a good time with these. These are going in the hospital bag that we haven't yet packed, but need to do ASAP. Step one, you take your celery and you rip off a nice piece. Run a little bit of water, break off the hair, break off the tail, and there you have it. Place it on your plate. Then get the peanut butter. This is all the peanut butter. Dumpy's getting all excited. Doggy, do you think you're getting a snack? Just to be clear, Duncan's not getting a snack. <laughs> we like only modest amount of peanut butter. We don't like too much peanut butter on anything. So I'm just gonna put a very modest amount. You take your log and you smear it with a modest amount, not too much, don't go overboard. You just put just enough. Just enough. Then you just get rid of that other one. And then there you go. Christine likes raisins, as do I. But I know that she only wants a few. So we'll give her just a couple. Maybe one, and then two, and then maybe three and four. I just so happen to love raisins. I'm just gonna just pile them on. There you go. And that's how you make ants on a log. Fun, right? You just eat it. 
What a healthy snack. If your husband is anything like me and doesn't eat his vegetables, just put a little bit of peanut butter and a little bit of raisins on there. And then he can have his vegetables. So like what I like to do though, is slide everything to the front. Very healthy. So I haven't slept. Christine hasn't slept. We've been sleeping on my college king bed firm mattress for the last, since we've known each other. And again, I got it in college over 10 years ago. So we have finally upgraded our mattress and it's supposedly amazing. It's a bed in a box and we just got it. It's downstairs. They say it's 150 pounds, but I'm determined that I can get it by myself. This is the heavy boy. It's all legs. That's all it is. Take it. Ugh. Easy. Step by step. All legs. Strong man competition. They said this is gonna be hard. I might need some water after this. This bed is pretty big. But I got it up the stairs though. One more flight to go. One floor down, one flight to go. Yeah. I'm a little bit out of breath. So this is like 10 squats. I got this. <laughs> we can duck it down there. This is strong man competition. By the way. They have a white glove service where they will carry it up for you and set it up. I think it's like $100. Pay for that next time. Let's go. Tuck the needle. Big boy coming through. Let's go. And that's how you get your tuck the needle up three flights of stairs. I mean two. But who's counting? I would just like to thank this bed for everything that it has done for us. Marie Kondo, thank you for telling me to thank those things that I let go of. See you later, bed. You have given me a lot of nights where I've woken up multiple times with back pains and I am so glad to get rid of you. Thank you for what you have done. Now we have to open up these two boxes that we got the other day on the doorstep. These are bottles that we highly had recommended for our baby registry. Um, I got them recommended by the concierge like consultant that I talked to as well. These must be epic bottles. I think there's bottles inside. We really don't know. Did he just send us a boxes of bottles? I don't know. I'm excited. We're gonna open it. How many bottles would fit in here? There has to be like 50 bottles. In here. Maybe there's like a bunch of random stuff. It could just be a little do you know fun. What's in here? I do not know what's inside. Close your eyes and just. Let's just pick one. Maybe they're individual bottles. Oh wait, no, it's a box. Are you looking? Give it, yeah, I've already seen some stuff. Oh, should we open our eyes now? Do you know what this is? You can open your eyes. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait, these are the ones that we wanted. These are the ones we wanted. These are those like anti-colic ones. They are super good. You can even take this little straw part out if you need to. We got a lot to go wait, through. Wait, these are options. Wait, these are good bottles. Dr. Browns, we appreciate you. What is that? Is this a pacifier? That is very cute. All right, next up. There's more? Yeah, I know. Oh. We have two boxes to undo. Ready? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, more pacifiers. These little animals. I don't know if you guys know. Did we do a nursery tour yet? Maybe there's animals. I feel like bottles and pacifiers are probably things that you can't get enough of, that you probably need a lot of. Am I right? Ooh, dishwasher basket. You basically put all the parts in for bottles that you put in the dishwasher. We basically dishwash everything, and I feel like that's not going to change when baby gets here, don't we? Yes. Ready for the next thing? <laughs> this is like Christmas. It's a big boy. Okay. Wait, I'll close my eyes. <clears throat> oh, wait. What? Should we guess what it is? Yeah, try to guess what that is. Is it more bottles? Yeah. Is it? No. No. Is it a drying rack for bottles? It's not a drying rack. Not oh, a sterilizer for bottles. No. Oh, bottle warmer. Yes. It is? Yes. Is it? It is. It's a I bottle. did it! Bottle warmer! I'm pretty confident this was on our registry. It is. This is turning into a Dr. Brown's just total video. Shout out to my boy, Dr. B. Right. Okay, wait, no. How about you close your eyes this time? Sure. I'm going to hand a manual of things and see if he knows what they are. Oh. Okay. Wait, close cool. I don't know. Keep your is. eyes closed. You know that it's a very massive Keep your eyes bottle. closed. Arms out. What do you think it is? Is it a baby sterilizer? Yeah, but you oh, look. Oh, snap. You look. Whoa, this is a big boy. Yo, Dr. B hooked it up. But I feel like this is what everyone says that you should use. The Dr. Brown's bottles, the sterilizer. The so we are set. We literally had none of these things. Sterilizer. And now I feel so much better. Warmer. Bottles. Bottles. Wash it all down. Put that in a dishwasher. Put in some passies. Oh, and then hook them up with oh, the... dino. The Titan Dino. This is so nice. I am so excited. No, seriously, I know we joke around quite often, but... This is so nice. Step number one, get your mattress upstairs. Step number two, take your old mattress 
and get it the heck out of here. No! <laughs> Step three, get this bed in a box on the bed in box. And no, I'm not out of breath. I'm just breathing hard because it's a good practice. You take the smallest scissors you can find and you open this bad boy up. Ah, that didn't even pierce anything. You just start to uh, use your heavy boy. Uh, Duncan, save yourself. Save yourself. Uh, easy. I know this looks light, but it's really heavy. Whoa, did you see that? Then, step number, what's that, mine? Five. Step number five. Now that you got it out of this box, you throw it on the box springs that you want it on, and you just you gotta be a ferocious lion. It just stole your breakfast. Lego, my ego. Then you just roll it. We're in the kitchen and we're cooking like it's stir fries. I just roll it like a roly poly. Uh oh. Oh, snap. We got movement. It's growing. And then you just say thank you. I just want to thank this bed that has arrived. I hope that you're comfy because, hey, no way, I'm gonna get this downstairs. And then you, you take your manly muscles and you just poke a hole in it. Pretty sure there's a smarter way to do this. Oh, I found the smarter way. Apparently there is a seam on the side and it just rips really nicely. Make sure that you use that to begin with. Of course I knew about that seam. Once the plastic's off, you just go ahead and move it into position. I just got done with the workout. That's why I'm sweating, by the way. I did some cardio, did some, some lifting. That's why I'm sweating. Picking this stuff up up the stairs was easy. This is the belly bump date for this week. It's actually funny because I'm wearing all my own clothes right now. I feel like a lot of times this week I've been wearing my nose clothes, whether it's like sweatpants or his t-shirts. I put on this like crop top sweatshirt and I just had my leggings on, which like, well, basically go up to here. I think I need a little tank top on too to cover up this bump for the week. Here is where we are. <laughs> for week 33's update. I also didn't make the bed in the background, but mattress update are liking it. I think I'll give you guys an update on the mattress next week after we've slept in it long enough, but it's been a couple days and we're liking it so far, but this is the pregnancy belly. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's pregnancy update video. This is 33 weeks pregnant. I cannot believe we only have so many weeks left until baby is actually here and his due date is gonna be here anytime now. So stay tuned for next week's weekly update video. I will be right back here on this channel. I am also gonna be sharing with you guys, I think here in my next video, some of the baby registry boxes that we got from different retailers. We got one from Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, Baby List, and Target. Oh wait, and Walmart, did I say that already? I think we have like four or five boxes that I need to unbox for you guys and kind of just share what we actually got whenever we got those welcome boxes. So stay tuned from those on my channel and make sure that if you are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so that if you see any of these pop-up videos, you also get notified for those as well. And I will see you back here next week. <laughs> <laughs>